Non-binary and gender fluid talent is growing by the day. These talented celebs are breaking the mold. And there are some names you will need to know. We still need to make a great deal of progress as a society, but there are a ton of super talented actors, artists, writers, models, and all around creators who are breaking the mold, pushing the boundaries, and paving the way for better representation. So let's take a look at some talented non-binary and gender fluid actors and creators. Have you heard the name Demi Lovato? Demi announced on Instagram that they are non-binary. They identify as they, them. She did some soul searching and self-reflective work and came to the revelation to identify as non-binary. Still, Demi insists they are going to continue to dress the way they want to. There might be a time when they want to wear a wig. There might be times when they want to wear a dress and be completely femme presenting. But that doesn't mean they are identifying as a woman at that moment. Rather, it is just what they want to wear at that moment. Emma Corrin is well known for portraying Princess Diana on the Netflix series The Crown. They quietly came out in July 2021 when they changed their pronouns to they, she. Emma claims that studying to play Diana and seeing the princess's open-heartedness inspired them to explore their own gender identity. The complexity of Princess Diana. Beautiful. Jonathan Van Ness revealed he is non-binary in an interview with Out Magazine. He said the older he gets, the more non-binary he feels. I'm gender non-conforming. Like some days I feel like a man, but then other days I feel like a woman. He says he prefers he, him pronouns. He is excited at any opportunity to break down stereotypes of the binary. Janelle Monet just had a star turn in Knives Out Glass Onion. Janelle is pansexual and non-binary. They posted a tweet that has been deleted. Are you a boy or a girl? I am an experience. They felt inclined to push the envelope because they have been doing so since the beginning of their career. Non-binary resonated with Janelle. I feel my feminine energy, masculine energy, and energy I can't even describe. Sam Smith has been blowing up again. He has had some hits in the recent past, but now is the time of Sam. Before the release of their new album, Sam Smith told the Sunday Times that they identify more in the middle of the gender spectrum. Sam officially came out as non-binary during an interview like a real celebrity. Sam uses they, them pronouns. Cara Delvine is a famous supermodel and a star of the hit series Only Murders in the Building. She revealed she embraced gender gender fluidity. When I first realized that gender is so much more fluid than masculine or feminine, it was a breakthrough moment for me. Elliot Page was a big part of the coming out of Hollywood. In 2020, he came out as transgender and also revealed that he identifies as non-binary. I live that I am trans. I love that I am queer. He said the more he holds close to himself, the more he thrives. In a famous speech, he said, to all the trans people who deal with harassment, self-loathing, abuse, and the threat of violence every day. I see you, I love you, and I will do everything I can to change this world for the better. Amanda Stenberg came out as non-binary on Tumblr. Since then, they have been an outspoken activist for more presentation in the media. They have also starred in some movies like The Hate You Give and The Dark Minds. Ashniko didn't really plan to come out and tell the world the way it happened. The Daisy hit maker is non-binary and uses she, her, and they, them pronouns. Seemed like maybe they were a little annoyed because on Twitter they said that they guess now is as good a time since everyone is doing a dissection into my sexuality and gender identity. That is when they shared how they identify. Hikaru Utada. Any video game freaks out there? Well, the Japanese-American singer-songwriter is most famously known for their theme songs in Kingdom Hearts. That's cool, right? Hikaru Utada came out as non-binary in 2021. Vico Ortiz is incredibly passionate about creating LGBTQ plus safe spaces in hopes to create more open opportunities for black, Latin, queer people in wheelchairs. Working in show business, Ortiz has huge ambitions and wants to see neurodivergent and deaf on set, in the writer's room, behind the camera, as executive producers, gaffers, they also are known to have a big essence on TikTok, where they use the platform to educate and inform others. Video Ortiz is probably best known 
for their roles in these thems. Our flag means death and the sex lives of college girls. Oh, and they identify as they them too. Haven't talked about Grey's Anatomy in a while. Our next celeb plays Dr. Callie Torres on the show. Starred in, and just like that, Sarah Ramirez. Sarah came out as bisexual in 2016 and then non-binary in 2020. They posted a famous Instagram in 2020. In me is the capacity to be girlish boy, boyish girl, boyish boy, girlish girl, all neither. Have you seen Sex Education? Because if you have, then our next celebrity needs no introduction. Do a soleil. They, he, Z, is the multi-talented Sudanese-American musician and actor who stole the hearts of fans everywhere in season three of the Netflix series. When they are not making music or starring in movies, Soleil is a massive influence in community organizing and LGBTQ plus activism. Specifically, they advocate for rights in Sudan. There are a lot of queer, trans, and non-binary people who are closeted, so try to put out as much content as possible. Speaking of multi-talented people who play some music, Lil Uzi Vert uses they, them pronouns. The rapper changed their pronouns on Instagram. Now, Lil Uzi Vert did not clarify whether they identify as non-binary. The update to the pronouns did take place only a few days after International Non-Binary People's Day. Our next celebrity is an icon, a world-renowned writer, performer, fashion icon, and more. We are talking about the one and only Alok Vaid Menon. Their writing has been well-documented to beautiful challenge the societal expectations of the gender binary. That's not all. They also created the hashtag degender fashion movement, which aims to degender the beauty industry. They have already created three gender neutral fashion collections, and they have walked the runway for other enormously famous designers. This is going to be our last celeb, and this is a special kind of incredible person, Shella Man. Who is that? The Asian American is an actor, model, YouTube star, LGBTQ plus activist, and more. We're not done yet. He is Jewish and deaf and identifies as genderqueer and non-binary. He is working hard to change the binary face of fashion and the media at large. In 2021, he did something really cool, created a limited time collection of ear jewelry designed to work easily with anyone who wears a hearing aid or cochlear implant plant. That's neat. Still, you may be wondering, who is this person? Relax, we're getting there. Shella Mann played the mute superhero in the second season of Titans and produced the 2021 series Trans in Trumpland, which is just fun to say. Now, the super talented man is working to push representation for the deaf and the Jewish and Asian and the transgender artists. Thanks, guys. Hope you liked the video as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. We will be back soon with more content to entertain you. Until then, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and show us the love. We will see you soon. Take care.